Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can automate the market basket analysis in R. So if you have seen my previous two videos, I have talked about first of all the theory of market basket analysis and then followed by the code that you need to implement within R to get the output for the market basket analysis or association rules. Now in this video, we want to take a further step and think about uh, how we can automate it within the R using the Shiny as a web application development framework. All right. So as you can see it over here, uh, here is the UI.R and server.R, the two required, the two files that we need to have. And here is a very basic layout where we are just showing nothing but the blank page with the sidebar layout and main sidebar panel and main panel and within the shiny server we are just having the syntax so that we have the right uh, web page setup or the data product page setup for our shiny application so currently if we run this there will be nothing but just a simple page right and it will not show you anything so that shows that whatever we have uh, developed as a layout or a application as a minimum syntax is working fine all right so let's let's go ahead and uh, do some of the uh, some of the market basket analysis so for that first of all let's go into the shiny server because that's where all the results need to be processed and what we need to define is the output so output dollar and here in this case let's say it mba which is market basket analysis you can choose whatever you need uh, which is more meaningful to you and uh, then you will say render print because market basket analysis output is basically a print output so if you will use any other thing like render table render text it will not going to print it well i faced this situation and i figured it out that render print is basically working fine with the market basket analysis all right now let's go ahead and take a next step which is uh, getting the rules from the uh, appropriate algorithm well to have this uh, you have you need to import the library which is uh, a rules here in this case so i have imported it and within the appropriate we are we will be using the inbuilt groceries data set which comes with the a rules package so groceries here in this case so this is by default present in the a rules package so groceries and we need to define the parameters parameters here in this case within the list and within the list you need to say support is equals to how much is the support let's say 0 0.001 because we have seen in the previous examples that 0 0.001 is basically working fine and which means 0.1% uh, transactions list so and if you want to know more about the theory look at my previous video about support and then confidence and for the confidence you will say let's say 80% and that's why I'm specifying 0.8 here in this case and after this we just need to use the second command which is inspect rules with this we have uh, almost achieved around uh, 80 to 90 percent of the objective where we want rules to be created and rules to be printed so that end user can see it all right let's run this for now and see the output well it will not show you and why because we have not defined anything in ui.r so in the main panel we will define um we're Tim text output this is the uh, function to display the uh, print the render print output that our appropriate algorithm is generating so that is verbatim text output and within that we need to specify the object MBA that we are giving it over here this MBA all right that's the simple thing that we can do and let's try run the app before let me stop the previous instance and run the app again so it is saying that it could not find maybe i just um, entered the correct one so let me put a question mark 
verbatim text output so everything looks fine over here actually not if you see v e r i just had extra t now it is fine verbatim text output that's a quick way of checking whether you have write anything proper or not all right let's save it stop the previous instance and run the app so here you have your market basket analysis printed so earlier you have seen that it is printed somewhere here in, on the command prompt but here in the web application framework and using or looking at this is really nice i mean it's in a looks like in a proper format which we can use or end user can see it you can share the result by publishing it on a shiny server or somewhere so the next thing we want to do is a little bit of fine tuning related to confidence and uh, support here in this case and we want to give a flexibility to the end user where the person can change the support or confidence and accordingly rules needs to be republished all right so let's go ahead and see how we can do that so first of all we need to define the control here in this case and maybe uh, uh, and we need to use the sidebar panel where we usually put all of our controls so here in this case let's first use the select input which will display you the drop down box give it a name let's say sup to give support uh, we will say select the support value and we will write choices is equals to so maybe 0 0.1 0 0.01 maybe 0 0.05 point comma 0 0.001 and maybe uh, point 0 0.005 that's it yeah you're fine with that at least for this for now so we have defined the first input box so let me drag it a little bit to the right so that you can see it so select input is fine after putting a comma we will again say select input and now in this case confidence and we will say select the confidence and maybe i just need to write value that's like a long sentence that i want to write and generally it is not a good practice choices again extra c is good. choices is equals to so how much we want to give let's say 0.5 in this case 50 percent 60 percent confidence 70 percent 80 percent and 90 percent so 0 0.5 650 60 70 yeah here is a mistake quick corrections 1890 all right once we have this we need to supply these parameters thus sup and conf here in the list so if we write input which is this input taking the input from ui.r input dollar sup by the as you can see it identified the parameter input dollar conf that we defined here in the ui so once we save this we will run by stopping the previous instance and we will run the application and now it is showing us an error and the error is assignment of an object of class character is not valid for at the rate confidence in the object of a parameter class value numeric not true so that is very easy to interpret that uh, something that we are passing to our support and confidence is basically needs to be numeric so let's convert it to a s dot numeric and same is for confidence as dot numeric and let's close the extra packet afterwards let's hit the save stop the previous instance and run the application again all right now you can see uh default values are the first values the point 0.1 and point 0.5 and nothing is getting displayed now let's change it to maybe point 0.01 all right you have some results that's good uh, let's change the confidence to point 0.6 nothing is coming up point 0.7 all right nothing is coming up but point 0.5 you have some rules out there let's change it to 
0 0.05 all right nothing is there 0 0.001 and for 0 0.001 you have a lot of rules over here all right so somewhere around five six eight eight rules maybe you want to increase the confidence let's say 90 percent and now you have only 120 rule, 29 rules so basically the idea is that you can play around with all of these different parameters which is confidence support as well as minimum length maximum length all of those things sorted out uh, in a similar way how we have done it in in our previous video and make your analysis more and more automated so here you are giving your end user all of the information which he is really looking and you are giving at least these two controls but you have the uh, flexibility of giving more controls and things like uh, if the person really wants to look at a uh, specific object on left hand side or right hand side we have covered that in the previous video where we wanted to see all the rules which was related to the whole milk and we put it on the left hand side so here also uh, it's it's just the uh, case of playing with the parameters if you define the parameters in a right way within the appropriate algorithm you will get the desired output and the very good flexibility for your end user so that's the uh, uh, start i wanted to give you to automate the market basket analysis within r and i'll leave you with uh, enhancing more and more and do comment it out if you find something interesting or some some good development out there with the help of fine-tuning or automating more parameters.